What's up you guys? Change of scenery from my office, I know, but I'm in my kitchen because I just got done garage sailing. My husband and I actually split up on days like this where I know there are lots of really good garage sales. Um, there's a big community garage sale that we do, so I will go ahead and send him out with like a list of brands and things to look for. <laughs> he always gets really stressed out. He's like always nervous and he wants to really please me, so he comes home and he's like, I don't know if I got enough. But he found some really good stuff today, so I'm proud of him. Um, and then I go out in my section and do my thing and then we come home and we compare notes. So um, before it gets too late and before all of this garage sale stuff gets lost in the mix or gets lost in my office, I wanted to share it really quick. Um, as a brief overview, I spent, my husband and I together, spent $400, about $420 on everything. And we added it up and we have over $2,400 of stuff worth to sell. So I know it sounds kind of crazy, but that's just the kind of damage you can do on a Saturday morning if you're willing to get up. I did go for five hours. I was gone from a little before seven o'clock to past noon. So it was a long morning for me. Um, but we did organize our stuff and yeah, let's just go ahead and get started with some of the things that I found. So I found this little North Face backpack. I was actually thinking it could be for one of my sons, but it's a little too small to hold like, you know, a folder or be for school. So I'm gonna sell it and I can get approximately $25 to $30 for this bag. I paid $1 for it. Um, I love selling North Face backpacks, Patagonia backpacks. In fact, I have a lot of bags here that I picked up today that I think should sell pretty well. Okay, this is an exciting find. This is a nomadic bag and it looked and felt really high quality. I looked it up really quick on eBay and comps looked really good. So I went ahead and I bought it. It was $15 at the yard sale. And again, I just want to reiterate, I pay what people want at garage sales. And I know that it might be an unpopular thing to do, but I just believe in karma. And I don't, if I know I'm gonna make a good profit on something, I don't wanna lowball them even more just so I can keep an extra five to $10 in my pocket. Um, that's just not the way I roll personally. So I ask them what they want and whatever they say, I pay. Um, and if it's an unreasonable amount, then I'll just pass on it. Or I'll tell them what I'm willing to pay and we'll work it out. But usually what I'm willing to pay if their offer's too high is about a third of what I think it'll sell for, which I feel is really fair. So that's just kind of how I roll with garage sales and I know a lot of people would disagree with me and that's totally fine. And I don't think you're a bad person if you're negotiating, but that's just kind of what I do personally. Anyway, that being said, um, this is a nomadic bag. The nomadic bags that I looked up, this exact bag actually sold for well over $150. So I'm really excited about that. And that was on auction. I might even sell this for closer to 200. We'll see, but it's a really high end brand that I wasn't as aware of and I'm really glad I picked it up. Um, so this is a full FUL bag. It's kind of like a quiver style bag with the one strap. And the full bags that I looked up, this model exactly, probably sell for around $40 including shipping. I did pay like a dollar for it, so I'm not too stressed if it only sells for $40. That's, you know, 40Xing my investment. Um, but yeah, the comps looked good and it's in really great condition, so I grabbed it. And then, I picked up this bag for $3. It looked really high quality. I actually didn't even look it up when I was there. That's like, <laughs> definitely don't do that. Um, I don't know why I didn't just look it up on the, on the spot, but it looks good quality. All I could see is that there's a little logo down here that says Coalition. Um, and when I looked it up, it's actually a Shark Tank bag. I don't know if it ever went to market or if it was just from GoFundMe or something, but it's like a Shark Tank prototype bag that has all of these pockets for headphones and like a portable battery charger and that kind of thing. So I grabbed it for $3 and I'm hoping to get anywhere from 50 to $60 for it. Okay, and this is the last of the bags. I debated picking this up because it's huge. Um, it's really big, but it was only $3, number one, and number two, it is a US Army issued like field pack. Um, it has metal bars and everything. And when I looked up comps, they were anywhere from $150 to $200 for this kind of bag. So I went ahead and I grabbed it. I just decided that I'll charge a really decent amount for shipping so that I'm covered because something like that will be a lot bigger and heavier to ship. But yeah, for $3, I just couldn't pass it up. Okay, this is a huge stack of 14 video games that I picked up. And if you guys know me at all, you know that I love picking up video games. I paid around, 
I think a little under $4 for each video game. And a lot of these are PlayStation 4 games, fantasy games, role-playing games, which if you have looked at my previous What Sells on Amazon video, I talk about role-playing games. Those are great to pick up. So I went ahead and I scooped all of these up and this little stack should sell for around $400 total. So I'm really excited about that. And video games always sell quickly for me. They're so easy to ship easy to send to Amazon. So that's something that really excites me. It's kind of why I can't show you all the titles because I'm going to be sending them to Amazon most likely. And this stack of books here is what my husband found. Um, he knows how to look for books because he and I used to exclusively do books for Amazon and then we kind of broaden our horizons a little bit, but he scanned those. All of these books, I think he purchased them for 50 cents to a dollar each and together they should sell for $283, which is awesome. Okay. So as far as books that sell, there are interior decorating books in here, textbooks, um, a recipe book. I mean, there's a lot in here. So really the only way to know with books is to scan all of them. If you're in a hurry, you can pass over fiction and kids books. But if you see nonfiction, history, textbooks, those have a higher likelihood of being worth money. Okay, and these are Cricut cartridges. I've talked about Cricut cartridges before. Definitely scan them. They each have a barcode and they're often worth a lot of money on Amazon, especially if they're rare or unique. We will be sending all of these things, the books, the Cricut cartridges, and the video games to Amazon, by the way. I also picked up a Brother printer, brand new, and some ink cartridges. Ink cartridges are worth a lot of money, so even if they're expired, you can sell them on eBay and they'll sell decently well. Um, but yeah, I picked up this printer. Usually printers are on my no-no list because they're so big and hard to ship. But since this one was new, I went ahead and I grabbed it and it should sell for close to $300, I'm hoping. So definitely worth the time and effort when it's worth that much money. Okay, so now I'm gonna sit back because I'm gonna show some of the shoes and clothing pieces that I got. That's definitely the majority of what I got. We've all seen these five finger toe shoes. I've even talked about them in a previous video. I love selling them. These are a dollar and I should get anywhere from 30 to $40 for them. And like I said before, they always make me think of Chris Traeger and Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec. <laughs> I got these Nike Mercurial cleats. These were $1. They're in really good condition and I figured I could probably sell them for anywhere from $25 to $30. Um, Nike cleats tend to do pretty well for me. So if I see them in really good condition in a unique colorway, I will pick them up. And I know I said no on dance go that was on my kind of brands that have gone downhill list, <laughs> but I kind of couldn't resist myself with these shoes. They're in really good condition. Um, they are supposed to have like a burnished look to them and I purchased them for $1, so I figured I could at least get $30 out of them. And they're a good size, and like I said, they're in pretty good condition, so we'll see what I sell them for, or if they sit, or if I'll eat my words later on. That's the problem with yard sales a lot of times, is I'm like, oh, but it's just a dollar. Let me just see what happens, and sometimes it comes back to bite me in the bottom, so. Okay, so I told my husband, Patagonia, pick up Patagonia, it's great. And he found two Patagonia jackets and two North Face jackets. And I was so excited. I'm like, yes, good job. But then I got home and they're Patagonia kids, which is fine. Patagonia kids still sells well, but um, like this is a girl's size 14, which is fine. It's a puffer jacket. It does have like a pen mark on it. Um, so I need to kind of clean it up, but it should still sell for anywhere from 30 to $35. I think I'm gonna need to look up comps. It's an older style, but yeah, Patagonia, if it's adult size, men, women's, that will sell for a lot more than kids. But still, for, I think he paid $5 for that. Um, or no, he paid a dollar for that because it had the stain on it. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the, um, this is a reversible North Face fleece. It's a girl's, <laughs> which is fine. I think he just paid a few dollars for that. So um, my cute husband, he tries so hard and he does an awesome job. <laughs> Like he'll text me as I'm out and he'll be like, is St. John's Bay good? And I'll say, well, no, but St. John is good. <laughs> so he like remembers what I said. He watches all of my videos, but then he like has moments where he needs to text or call me. Anyway, it's cute. Yeah, this is a Patagonia orange rain jacket, which I think is really cool. Um, it is a boys lar extra large. So it's actually like a large, like an extra large preteen size. Um, but I'm hoping to sell this for around 30 bucks. We'll see. And then this is another North Face puffer jacket. Again, it's a girl's size, like I wanna say 12, 14. Um, and it, there are some stains on it, so <laughs> he tried really hard. I don't know, I, if, if the stains will come out of this one, I'll probably just 
donate it again. This is an Intimately Free People really cute dress that my husband picked up. I told him Free People is a thumbs up. So he got this for $5 and I'm hoping to sell it for $25 to $30. These are some Pilcro in the letterpress jeans. This is an anthropology brand and these are really wide leg and kind of higher waisted so kind of a cute style um i picked these up for seven dollars i did pay up for them but i'm hoping to sell them for anywhere from 25 to 35 dollars this was really really cute this is a rebecca taylor faux leather a pleated skirt and it's a size zero so it's teeny as you can see there um but it's really cute and comps look to be anywhere from 35 to 40 dollars for this so so i was happy to pick that up and then i've actually sold the j crew pencil skirt quite a few times in the past not this particular pattern or style but it always seems to sell and in fact a lot of celebrities end up wearing this style of skirt so look up to see if you can find any celebrities who have worn it but yeah i'm hoping to get anywhere from 25 to 30 dollars for this j crew pencil skirt and some of these clothes, I'm going to be honest, I might be keeping for a while before I sell them because <laughs> I think they're really cute. And this free people sort of distressed, like short sleeve sweater right there. Um, it's got some holes in it. It's giving me like Kanye West vibes. Um, but yeah, I got this for $8 and I'm going to keep it for a little bit and then I'll sell it for, I don't know, $30 ish. I thought this Zara top with all this beading, it's like a peplum peasant style top with like a tie waist. Um, it has sequins on it and it's really cute. Um, I'm going to keep this for a little bit too and then, and then I might sell it for, I don't know, 25 to $30. And this is an Anthropology 1 September peplum pink top with um, really cute floral design on it. I think I might keep this one as well for a little bit. 1 September is an Anthropology brand. In case you're not familiar, I'll show you the tag here. There you go. Um, but yeah, super cute and so I'll probably keep that and sell it for I don't know, 25 bucks probably. These are Free People movement leggings. Free People has a movement line, an intimate line, um, so like activewear, and then they also have, you know, their regular line, they have We The Free. So definitely get familiar with those. I love selling Free People. Um, but yeah, these are really cute full length floral leggings and I'm gonna try to sell these for around $25. This is a cloth and stone, really cute flannel top with like kind of a peplum detail. Um, yeah, this might be a keeper for a while as well <laughs> um, until I sell it for, I don't know, $25 to $30. It's really cute. I really like selling cloth and stone and their flannel pieces are really flattering, so I like them. Okay, so this is just a small, <laughs> it's like a kid's size eight. Um, I can either wait for my son to grow into this or I can sell it. I thought the big pony was really cool. The big pony for Ralph Lauren always does a lot better than the small pony, so keep that in mind. Um, I don't know, it's a little big for my son, so I will probably end up selling it. I bought it for a dollar. I will probably try to sell it for 15 to 20. But yeah, the big pony, if you if you do find something that's a big pony for Ralph Lauren, put that in your title as a keyword, big pony, because it commands a little bit more attention and money. This is a J. Crew factory shirt. I got it for a dollar. It's like a polka dot chambray sleeveless. Really cute. Um, it was one dollar and I will sell it for, I don't know. 20 bucks probably is what I'll get for it. But chambray with J. Crew tends to be really popular. Chambray is like the denim style, almost denim, but like a thinner style of denim, that's chambray. And uh, yeah, definitely a keyword. Um, but I thought it was cute and I couldn't pass it up. These are brand new with tags L1. Let me try to hold these up. Snowboard pants. Um, they retail for $240. I paid $15. I snowboarded a lot in high school. <laughs> So I'm a little more familiar with like Burton and ski and snowboard brands. And this is no exception. I had, I had heard of L1 before. Brand new with tags. So I'm hoping to get around $100 for these. This is LuLaRoe. And I know LuLaRoe has gone downhill, so I don't sell it often. But it is solid black. Solid black Nicole dress. It has like the LuLaRoe logo pattern on it. It's solid black. Solid black LuLaRoe sells for more than just the regular stuff. Or at least it did. I haven't sold LuLaRoe in a while. So hopefully... <laughs> That sells decently well, but it was $1, or no, it was $5. And I'm hoping to sell it for around 30. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, this was really cool find. <laughs> this was $1. I saw this patch, this Polo Ralph Lauren patch, right there, and it's a 5XL. I don't think I've ever sold 5XL before, but it's a Polo Sport, really cool hoodie, full zip, um, with the patch on it. So I'm hoping to get 
30 to 40 dollars for this one we will see i love selling vintage polo ralph lauren so hopefully that one does okay this is an anthropology sparrow just fit like kind of burnout tee and this is what the sparrow logo looks like right there um and yeah that's anthropology it's really cute i bought it for one dollar so i'm hoping to get I don't know, probably $15 for it. And then these are some Lululemon leggings. They're like an older style um, yoga flare leg cottony legging. So yeah, I got these for $1 and I'm hoping to flip them for 30. Like they're, even though these are the full length leggings, when they're the flare and like the cotton Luan style, um, they don't sell as well. These do kind of fold down, that's the intent. They'll fold down like this at the waist. Um, but similar ones that I've sold, I've sold this style before, they usually don't go for more than 25 to 30, which is fine since, you know, I paid a buck for it. This is an Anthropology Saturday Sunday. Really cute hoodie. Like, if weather wasn't getting so warm, I would so keep this. Um, it's got this little peplum detail at the bottom. It's full zip, and I thought it was way cute. So I paid a dollar for this, and I'm hoping to get around 25 to 30 for it. You guys can see, like, 25 to 30, I'm so fine with that number. I don't need huge numbers. Like I said before, the $25, $30 sales keep my store going every single day. This is a J. Crew tee, like little graphic tee. I thought it was so cute. Um, it's like got a linen blend feel. It's medium. I paid a dollar for it and I might keep it for a minute and then sell it for like 15 bucks. This is a new with tags, uh, Paper Moon for Stitch Fix. Stitch Fix, if you guys aren't familiar, is like a delivery service where they send you clothes and then you can try on what you like, keep what you like, and then send back what you don't. It's like a curated little clothing wardrobe for you. Um, and it's kind of popular, at least it was. I don't know if it's maintained its popularity, but um, I thought this was super cute with like the embroidered detail. And it is brand new and I got it for a dollar. So I will probably try to sell this for anywhere from 20 to 25. I live in jazz country since I'm in Utah. So I saw this Adidas like satin jacket with the jazz logo embroidered on and then it's got the jazz logo on the back. Comps look to be around for a used $30 for this and I paid $5. So um, there will be a sports fan who will want this, I am sure. <laughs> and this is a brand new with tags, Polo Ralph Lauren half zip pullover. Um, it's cotton and beige. I've sold these before, even when I find them at Goodwill, that they sell for $30. So to be brand new with tags, I'm hoping to actually get 40 bucks for this one. And I just paid a couple bucks for it. This was a fun find. This is so cute. Um, this is a Vince Camuto. I don't often pick up Vince Camuto, but it's got this beaded neckline and it's actually a jumpsuit um, with like a keyhole detail in the back. Really, really cute. And I paid $5 for it and I'm hoping to sell it for around 30, 30-ish. These are LuLaRoe leggings. <laughs> I know, like, I know, I'm breaking rules with LuLaRoe. Um, I got it for a dollar, and they're the American flag print, and I figured, well, 4th of July is coming up, kind of, so <laughs> maybe someone will want it. I don't know, so I'll probably list these for 15, including shipping, and hope for the best. Sometimes I pick things up, and I later when I take it home, I'm like, wait, why did I get that? <laughs> so just know you're not alone if that ever happens to you. Um, and I've been doing this for, this is my fourth year doing this, so go me. Um, okay, and then this is a J. Crew, like golden kind of baseball style tee. I thought this was really, really cute. Um, it's like a linen blend, and I will probably try to sell this for like 20 bucks if I don't keep it for a minute first. <laughs> and this is a Madewell sweater, crew neck sweatshirt. Um, Madewell, I know. <laughs> And like seriously you guys, that's three things. LuLaRoe, Madewell, and Dansko that now I have purchased to sell that I kind of said were on the downhill for me. Um, but I did say in that last video, I wouldn't not buy them, but if they were the right price, I would buy them, but not for more than a dollar or two. And sure enough, this was just $1. So I figured for this sweatshirt, to get it for $1, I could sell it for at least 20. Um, I will see what comps look like though. Madewell, so sad, the decline Madewell has had in the last few years. Okay, you guys, there are a few other things that I got, but I'm going to actually wrap it up here. Just the little miscellaneous stuff that I got isn't as interesting as what I just showed you. And plus, this video has been going on for a long time. So um, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope that this kind of inspires you guys to go out to garage sales. You can find amazing stuff. And like I said before, we spent around $420, and all of this should sell for around $2,400 
if we kind of play our cards right, you know, at the lowest end, 2000. So not a bad way to spend your Saturday morning if you're willing to get up early. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like garage sale haul videos, next time I will try to take you along. It's just a little bit awkward to try to film. I haven't figured out a good way to do it yet. So give me time. I will figure out a way to film myself as I'm going. But um, in the meantime, I hope garage sale haul videos are okay with you. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And yeah, now to get all this stuff listed and <laughs> photographed and sent off to Amazon and all that stuff, um, I tried to do that before the next garage sale that following week. So it kind of is nice to have a deadline. Like Ash, if you don't get this in by next Friday, you're gonna have a mess on your hands with overwhelming amounts of stuff to list. So I'm gonna try to get it done over the next week, slowly but surely. Anyway, thanks you guys. Thanks so much for joining me and I will catch you next time. <laughs>